Greetings fellow Jedi, my name is Luke, and welcome back to an all-new Star Wars related video here on HN Entertainment. In today's video, we're going to attempt to break down Star Wars projects that are actively in development. And starting at number one, we get Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. The final chapter of the Skywalker saga is expected to answer a lot of questions fans have had for the last two movies, along with seeing the return of Emperor Palpatine in some capacity. The Knights of Ren will finally get some screen time as well. After having so many controversies in The Last Jedi, fans are truly hoping for an amazing send-off in The Rise of Skywalker. So even as the final film in the trilogy gets closer to hitting theaters, we're still in a bit of a dark spot about what will be coming next for Lucasfilm and Disney. So for number two on this list, we do know that Disney has set official release dates for the next three untitled Star Wars films, set to air on the dates of December 16th, 2022, December 20th, 2024, and December 18th, 2026. President of Lucasfilm Kathleen Kennedy has mentioned to The Hollywood Reporter at the Star Wars Celebration Chicago, they're developing the next 10 years of films, and these release dates only represent four years of that. Kennedy stated that we are looking at the next saga. We are not just looking at another trilogy, we're looking at the next 10 years or more. And unfortunately, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, the developers of the smash hit Game of Thrones, were to produce, write, and possibly even direct a brand new Star Wars trilogy unrelated to the Skywalker saga and Ryan Johnson's trilogy. So on to number three, it was revealed recently by The Hollywood Reporter that the president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, is looking to team up with Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy to develop a brand new Star Wars feature film. Almost zero details about the project are known, but Kevin reportedly already has an actor in mind for it. Acquiring the help of Kevin seems to give the impression that Lucasfilm is hoping to get some of the Marvel magic to rub off as Avengers Endgame surpasses Avatar to become the highest grossing film. It is worth noting that Feige has only recently got involved here, so who knows how long it's actually going to take to put together. And with number four, there are reports that screenwriter Leia Caligritis is developing a script on the beloved video game series Knights of the Old Republic. It remains to be seen if this project will actually be moving forward or if Lucasfilm will even be announcing it officially. The Old Republic has been covered in video games and comic books but has never tackled anything live action. However, Kathleen Kennedy did confirm at Star Wars Celebration Chicago that they are definitely, indeed, developing an Old Republic movie, but stop short of revealing any details. And moving over to Disney+, Plus, we get the return of some familiar characters that we were first introduced to in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Two characters in particular, Cassian Andor and K2SO, will be reprising their roles, and it has been revealed to be a prequel series that will take place before the events of the movie. The show is said to be more in the spy genre. The show is expected to be filming sometime next year in London, presumably at the infamous Pine Wood Studios. HN Entertainment revealed that production designer Neil Lamont is expected to work on the show. With production taking place in 2020, this will give us the impression it will begin airing on Disney Plus sometime in 2021. And last but not least, we have Kenobi. Formerly a feature film, the Obi-Wan Kenobi live-action series would eventually be officially announced over the summer by Lucasfilm at D23. Plot details are scarce at the moment, except that the show will take place eight years after the events of Revenge of the Sith, and during the events seen in Solo, A Star Wars Story. And we do now have confirmation that writer-director Deborah Chow will direct the series and will also serve as a co-writer for the Star Wars show. Filming is said to begin next year, and an expectation could take place in England. Shooting in 2020 would suggest that the series will begin airing in 2021 or possibly 2022. There have been some rumors recently regarding Disney Plus, and it's starting to look like some of the Disney Plus shows are going to be where Lucasfilm fills in the gaps and tackles their Star Wars story projects. I wouldn't be terribly shocked if in the future we ended up getting a limited series covering characters such as Lando, Yoda, and maybe Jabba the Hutt. A handful of rumors over the last couple of months concerning the ideas for future shows, Lucasfilm is apparently considering in Internally include Princess Leia, Darth Bane, the Knights of 
Ren and Rose Tico, and recently one that could focus on the criminal syndicate Crimson Dawn led by Darth Maul. I guess we'll really just have to wait and see if any of these actually come together. So anyways guys, this is where I'm going to end the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What do you guys want to see for the future of Lucasfilm and Star Wars? As always, my name is Luke, and don't forget to subscribe to HN Entertainment so that way you can stay updated on all things Star Wars and pop culture. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video.